Ah, Gen Z. We love Gen Z, the first generation to be born when the internet was already a major deal, part of life. They don't remember a time we didn't carry cell phones or Google everything, but news polling uh, shows that despite all of that, Gen Zers feel underprepared for a constantly modernizing job market. Joining me right now is founder and host of the Job Doctor podcast, Tessa White. Tessa, you know, one would think that Gen Z workers are the most tech savvy, yet they're experiencing tech shame. It's crazy. So I'm first thinking, is it because they know how to edit video and code, but they don't know how to use Excel? Well, I think there's so many new apps and tools available now. It used to be we only had to use email or use an Excel spreadsheet, but this is changing so rapidly that managing data, storing data, knowing how to send data, even get getting data out of the system to be able to, to share what's happening can be difficult. What are the most uh, skills? What are the skills that Gen Z needs right now? I mean, what can they do to be better prepared for the job market? I think there's three skills that they should get. One is really know how to use project management tools. With a remote workforce, this is absolutely essential and isn't just a project manager's job anymore. The second thing is they have to know how to use digital marketing. Now, Gen Z is pretty good with social media, um, but digital marketing, they need a little help with. The biggest one, though, is analyzing and using data. How do you get data out of a system? How do you visualize data so that you know how to run your function? And this is something that I think Gen Z struggles with a lot, is how do I show what's actually happening in the business? But baby boomers have an issue with this. Millennials have an issue. Gen X, what makes Gen Z so different? I Oh, they, I think Gen Z is struggling with the workforce in general. I don't think it's just about not having the tools and resources. I just think, I think they're ill prepared on a lot of fronts with how business works. When they grew up in a digital market, they grew up communicating via text and really short spurts. Technology is not something you learn via text. You have to learn it by training and you have to learn it by being in the tool. And I think that that is difficult for that attention span for a Gen Z. Yeah, because it's like, okay, I can do things quickly, but I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now to do more, whereas previous generations could kind of skate by some of these things. You've written a book called yeah, they, The Un Oh, go ahead. No, 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 please. They know technology. They know how to do things quickly. They don't know how to do the difficult things or spend the time on the difficult things right. that they can't shortcut. Yeah, no shortcuts for everything. Uh, you've written a book called The Unspoken Truths for Career Success. So what's the advice that you would give to Gen Z as they navigate their career? Uh, Gen Z, I would say be patient, learn from other people, and, and take what you know and do well, which is getting things across the finish line quickly. That's their strength. But you've got to slow down enough to really learn from others so that you can get the work done well. And especially as it relates to technology, you're gonna to have to invest the time in order to really be up to speed. And really, I, I think I would just tagline that you're the expert, but relationship building, it's so important to work with other people and to learn how to work in teams. And that's never gonna die, no matter what age you are. They have a real problem with how do you deal with conflict in the workforce? That's hard for everybody, but really building those relationships is especially hard for a Gen Z. I call them the bye-bye generation. They'd rather leave a company than actually address the conflict. Mm -hmm. And so you combine that with um, technology shortfalls and that can be a hard combination. And that could be devastating for our job market. Tessa White, thank you so much for all your advice. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.